Keep back, or I swear I'll shoot. All right, let me grab the thing. All right. It's okay. Vernon, what the hell are you doing? Vernon! Relax. I'm not here to hurt you. You're really not from Crawford? No. I'm really not. Well, we are. Or were. We got out of there when they started sealing up the place, you know, started weeding out the sick and the old so the perfect survivor society wouldn't be threatened. No room for weakness or yep. vulnerability in their little master race. You don't look that old, so you're sick? We're sick. We're all members of a cancer survivors group that used to meet here at the hospital. We're in remission. But that wasn't good enough for Crawford. They'd already rounded up five of us before the rest of us managed to hole up and hide from them down here. Jeez. This old basement's been abandoned for years. What is this? The morgue? Yeah. Irony's always high on my list when I'm looking for a place to survive. <laughs> How did you find your way down here? Um... A few of us got boxed in by walkers up on the street. Came down here trying to get away. Now I just want to get out of here and get back to my own people. Well, that sewer system you came through runs all over the city. It'll take you wherever you want to go. Um... Thanks. I think I can figure out my own way back. Vern, you're not just gonna let him go back out there alone, are you? Those sewers are like a maze. He's got no chance of finding his way back without a guide. You're not going to be able to get out of here on your own, but we all got our own problems. Two of our group are sick and need constant care, and I'm the only doctor here. Besides, why should we help you? Um... Because this oh. is your other option. No, no, why did I use that? Sorry, friend. I'm not buying it. Vern, what are you doing? I've seen my share of murderers since this all started. Seen too many. If he was the type to do violence, he'd have done it already. I'm calling your bluff. Your move. No, wait, listen to me. Look, I'm sorry if I scared you. I just want to get back to my people. Back to Clementine. She's your daughter? No, she lost her real parents. I'm doing what I can. You're not seriously considering going with him. It's all right, Bree. I had a daughter, too. Lost her in the first days. I'll be damned if I'll just sit back and let that happen to someone else. We need you here. Don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. <laughs> Let's go. That guy was the one that was like, you're not just going to let him go on your own, are you? And I was like, you can't go. I don't know. Everyone in this game is like can't choose what they're gonna do. No way this guy's gonna survive. Maybe it was him. Maybe the guy laying down or sitting down over there, maybe he was the one that said you can't just let him go on his own. <clears throat> Clementine? Clem? Oh wow, okay. <laughs> Molly? Oh hey, you made it back. Who's this? He didn't tell you about me? Understandable, I guess. I'm the one who put that beating on him when he tried to jump me back at the river. Who's the fossil? <laughs> this is Vernon. He's a doctor. He helped me get back here after we got separated. Who's the fossil? <laughs> I think you have something that belongs to me. She's a freaking ninja. Lee, thank God you're back. Krista, what's wrong? It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Much worse. No, oh, he's dying. We have a man wounded. Who's this? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. Oh, thank God. Could you take a look at him? You have to help us. Please. I'll see what I can do. Take me to him. Alright.
Omid, honey, you're gonna be all right. Lee brought a doctor. All right, let's take a look at him. I work better without an audience. I'm sure you have more things of your own to attend to. All right. Clementine. Clementine? Ah, crap. Where's she hiding? Clementine, you in here? Where is she? She's not gonna be in here. All right, let's get out of here. Um, it's over here. Clementine, you here? Clem? It's just a room with a door, okay. Hello? What are you doing? Oh, well, you know, just poking around. You won't find anything. We already searched the place. You'd be surprised what people miss. <laughs> Trust me, I've been doing this for a while. Where's Clementine? Don't ask me, I'm not her keeper. Hey, do I look like I'm in the mood to be jerked around? Where did she go? Last I saw, she was downstairs with your redneck friend and that college kid who hangs around with him. Why don't you go bug them? Alright. I'm going downstairs. Clem? Clementine? Alright. Clementine! Come out! Please! Kenny? Oh, hey, you made it back. Good job. Good job. What the hell do you think you're doing? What does it look like? Where'd you get the bottle? Found it. <laughs> First good thing that's happened since... What the fuck were you thinking letting Kenny get like this? Hey, man, I tried, but he gave me a look like he was gonna rip my face off. He won't listen to you. You think he was gonna listen to me? To hell with you! Getting wasted's not gonna help anyone. Yeah? Well, what is? We are fucked! <laughs> Molly said there's not a single boat left in Savannah. No way out. We got walkers all around us, that crazy fuck on the radio messing with us. Hell, if now ain't the time for a drink? Hey, where... Have either of you seen Clementine? Damned if I know. Gotta be around here somewhere. Ben, I gave you one job when I left here. Take care of Clementine. Then she shows up out on River Street looking for me. <laughs> the hell happened? Hey, don't put all that on me. Omid took a turn for the worse, and Krista asked me to help. I'm sorry, I'm doing the best I can here. She was frantic, and things got kind of crazy. I told Clementine to stay put. What else could I do? Don't be sorry. Just tell me where the hell she is now. I think she went out to play in the backyard. <laughs> On her own. With no one watching her? <laughs> Man, will you get off my back? She's fine out there. Just, she better be or it's your ass. Just kill Boone. Just get him over with. He's... He's a walking time bomb. Clementine? Clementine! Oh, good job, Yellen. All right, she's probably playing in the freaking grave or something. Ah, uh, wow, she's probably in here. Her, maybe not. Doors covered in vines. Don't think anyone came in through there. Is she in the doghouse, maybe? She. 
Where is she? Alright, I'm going in. I heard that little knock. Hopefully you guys heard it too. Get your gun out. Wee! How did you get in there? What were you doing in there? Exploring? And look! Look what I found! What is it? Oh! That didn't look like it was gonna fit in there. Um, how does that get out? Um... This was here the whole time? I know, right? Alright. Wow, alright. That doesn't look like it's gonna get out. <sighs> okay. <sighs> Man. What happened? Vern? Omid's doing okay? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. I did what I could for him. Cleaned out the wound, but he's got a real infection. Running a fever. Without antibiotics, I... Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? Hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? Well? You want the good news or the bad news? Uh... I think we could all use some good news. Good news is, the boat's seaworthy enough. In pretty good shape, mostly. Mostly? That's the bad news. Gas tank's empty, and her battery's dead. We need to fix both before she's taking us any place. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? Um... Oh. Sounds like Crawford is the one place that has everything we need. Maybe we should try there. Now hold on a minute. Surely we have to try? If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Trust me, you don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man? Might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Because from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. We're armed and we've got the numbers. I say we just go in there and take what we need by force. Okay, that is literally the dumbest idea I have ever <laughs> heard. Crawford's like a goddamn military base. They've got hundreds of people in there armed to the teeth. And not perimeters guarded day and night. You're gonna have to be smarter than that. Oh, maybe we can be. I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. Yeah, actually. I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, Grab what we need and get out before they even knew what hit them. Okay, that's not bad. All right. That's better. I've thought about it before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. Cool. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So, it's decided then? We're going to Crawford? Anyone else have a problem with this plan? Because we're gonna need every one of us to pull this off. Man, I don't know. 
I don't know about you, kid, but I'd rather take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? We should go tonight, under cover of dark. I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. All right. I told you to stay in your room. How long have you been there? Is it going to be dangerous? It's what going to be dangerous? Crawford. <sighs> I can't lie to you, Cliff. Yeah, it's going to be dangerous. But it's the only way to get the things we need to make Omi better. She's a bad girl. Working. She does That's not listen at all. Do, do you understand? I don't want anyone else to die. Yep. Um. Yeah, neither do I, Clem. But sometimes we have to take that kind of risk. I guess I should go get ready. Oh. Uh, say what now? <laughs> You said you'd need all of us to do this, and you said I'm a big help, remember? <laughs> Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? Oh, hopefully not. Um... 